Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today we're going to be customizing the Ubermacht Reinhardt in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now I have customized this thing before on the channel, however I felt like giving it another customization today because I feel like it's such a good car and it needs another customization. So we're going to go ahead and hop into Los Santos Customs here and see what we can do with the Reinhardt. As per usual, we are going to start off with the armor upgrade. We're going to go all the way up on that. The brakes, we're going to go all the way up on those as well. For the bumpers, we do have front and rear bumper options for this vehicle. Uh, there are some pretty good looking ones, I have to say. Um, I think that the one that I want to go for, maybe the double vented dropped splitter or the carbon splitter. I'm not really sure. I feel like kind of going for like an M340i type of thing. So I think I'm going to go carbon. Um, and then for the rear bumper, I want to go for something like aggressive, but not like too aggressive, you know what I mean? Uh, the race diffuser honestly isn't bad. I think that that's the one I'm going to choose to go for. For the chassis, we can go for some tuner seats in this thing. Seats with a cage, we got the race setup, the race setup with custom seats, or the competition setup. Um, I will go for, honestly, the stock seats. The stock seats are just so good. Let's leave those alone engine we're gonna go all the way up on that though for the exhaust option for this vehicle there's so many different ones that we can pick it's even got side exits that's kind of cool too i think that i kind of like the look of the chrome double bore it's kind of like an understated look so we're gonna go for that option today for the grill on this vehicle we can go for the grill slats free ysl we got the custom intercooler as well the intercooler with water sprayer the small logo intercooler the large logo intercooler and of course the intercooler with the twin fans um, I really like how that says GTS there. I think I'm going to go for the small uh, logo intercooler. For the hood, we can go for the race hood, which just sort of adds a bit of a bulge to the hood, I guess. We've also got the tuner hood, which adds these sort of almost vents, but they're not vents. I got the street hood. We have the competition hood, the carbon competition hood. Of course, we have the race spec hood as well. The race spec tuner hood. Oh my God, these are aggressive. Let's go for the race hood. Um, nothing too, too crazy, but just a little, a little more aggression. Xenon for the lights. Of course, we're going to go for that. For the livery on this thing, we do have some uh, some options here. We got the black stripes, we got the white stripes as well. Uh, we have the simple Uber marked racing. This is a simple livery. Uh, we got the zero racing, atomic racing, Perseus racing, Hawk and Little Racing, we got the CNT Racing, Complex Uber Mocked Racing, okay, I see why the other one was simple, uh, Complex Uber Mocked Racing Alt, we got the Cerveza Baracho Racing as well, and we have the alternate of that, and back to none. Uh, we're not going for a livery today, I just don't think that it's going to fit with what I'm trying to go for. Yellow on black for the plate for sure. For the respray of the car, now this is uh, this is something that I've been I've been kind of thinking about. Um, if you guys saw my Oracle customization from the other day, you'll see that I went for a rolled steel with a uh, I think it was a bright green pearlescent, and it looked really really cool. Um, I kind of want to go for like a BMW red, and I feel like Grace red uh, would kind of match up pretty nicely with that. However, um, we could absolutely go for something else. I wouldn't mind. I think the last time I did one of these, I went for blue. Uh, we could go for like a bleached brown or something like that. Something like really like out of the ordinary. Or what I'm also thinking of is going for maybe like a more basic color. Like maybe a uh, maybe even a silver. Honestly, silver looks great. Let's do silver for the uh, for the primary and for the secondary. Uh, we'll do silver as well to match up the stitching. I think that's going to look pretty good. You know, for the pearlescent though, I want to change this up. I'm thinking about maybe going for a blue pearlescent of some sort. Like nothing too crazy, but just a little bit of a, a little bit of a blue like hue to it. Um, Galaxy blue kind of does it. Dark blue is okay as well. Saxon blue is also okay. Uh, could go for like a bright blue. I'm not really sure about that though. Mariner blue. I think Mariner blue might be the one that we're going to go for. I think that that looks really, really good. Uh, so we're going to go Mariner blue for the pearlescent on this thing. It's just going to add a little bit to the car. I think it's going to be nice. Uh, for the interior color, we do have silver for the uh, stitching. We could go for something like stone silver for the, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I like the look of that a lot. Let's do that. Now for the roof, we got the ribbed roof that we can go for, which is kind of a continuation almost of the hood. So we could go for that. Uh, could also go for the ridged roof. I feel like that's almost better. Um, so we could go for that. Uh, we got all these vortex generators. We got a hood scoop. We got the roof rack um, with the roof box. Got the surfboards. I think that I kind of want to go for the 
carbon ridged roof. I like the look of that. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go for that option, I think. And for the skirts, uh, I do want to go for something carbon to kind of match up with the other uh, the other options that we went for with this car. I think I want to go for something pretty discreet, so we'll go carbon street skirts. Uh, there are some pretty aggressive things you can go for, but I'm not going for that on this car. So that looks pretty good. Uh, we have the sports boot spoiler we got the race boot spoiler as well the race boot wing the boot lip spoiler as well the large boot lip spoiler the cut boot lip spoiler the chassis mounted wing or of course the big wing as well uh we're gonna go for the uh the the sport boot spoiler because it's the only one that uh, kind of looks any sort of good in my opinion um i am almost feeling inclined to change this to yeah we're gonna change it we're gonna change it to just the regular ridge not the carbon i feel like it just looks a little better uh sun strips we could go for one I, i'm not a big fan of it i don't think it's gonna look great on this car so we'll leave it alone with the suspension um i think i think i want to go sport suspension i don't quite like how tucked competition is so we're gonna go uh, sports race transmission though we'll go for that turbo tuning let's go for that as well for the wheels on this vehicle kind of want to go for something maybe in the sports category um something not too crazy could go for the regular mercies those look great the synthetic z's also are pretty nice looking oh the endos though oh i think we gotta go endos those look so so good let's do that uh for the wheel color could go for like a stone silver match up with the interior Ooh, kind of liking the kind of liking the idea of that uh could go for something something different too though could go for like uh, i don't know red's not gonna work with this but could go for gold could go for some sort of bronze or something like that could go for midnight purple midnight purple is an option um i think we're gonna go stone silver though i think it's the i think it's the one that makes the most sense to me so we'll do that bulletproof the tires for sure with the windows we are gonna tint those all the way out this thing is looking pretty clean pretty mean uh, let's take it outside and see how it sounds and do a full review on the car as well and of course see it in the sunlight i'm interested to see how this is actually sort of turned out it's not bad i would have liked if the blue did a little bit more to the car um i feel like it's I feel like it's pretty understated uh but it's kind of nice too it's like it's like not too aggressive you know what i mean so i'm pretty happy with how this has turned out i think it looks good that's for sure uh, let's quickly take a listen to how this vehicle sounds Not bad, not bad. It uh, it actually sounds better than I remember. I didn't remember the uh, Reinhardt sounding this good, but uh, it's it's pretty good. Uh, the interior on this vehicle is pretty nice. Uh, it's definitely one of the more modern interiors in GTA. So uh, props to Rockstar for putting this in uh, this car. I wish that they did this with like you know the Enus Jubilee um, instead of giving it the same interior that the uh, Canis Seminole has. But uh, you know I, I guess you can't win them all. Uh, overall though this car looks really good i'm super happy i picked the endos uh, the endos just i don't know man the endos are growing on me they're growing on me they're they're so nice they're just such nice rims they work so well with so many different cars particularly with like tuner cars so i'm really happy i went for these um now we kind of talk about the ubermacht reinhardt's performance this is one of the fastest sedans in grand theft auto online technically it's within the sedans category it is not within you know an estate category or a wagon category um so that is uh, interesting, but I, I guess it makes sense that it's a sedan. I feel like that's what I would classify it as out of all the GTA classes that there are. So I guess that makes sense. The performance of this thing is pretty good. In free mode, I do like driving this car a lot. Um, I have noticed something with this car as well. Um, if you put the most bottomed out suspension on it, it does tend to understeer. However, with uh, with the second to last option for the suspension, uh, it's not understeering, which is very interesting. So that is something you guys might want to keep in mind for yourselves. Uh, if you plan on picking up an Uber marked Reinhardt, don't slam this thing all the way out. It still looks good uh, slammed out. I, I definitely would agree with that, but uh, I think that it kind of works better when it's just not so you know slammed but anyways uh, overall the performance of this vehicle is quite good it has 
has very good handling. The acceleration is pretty decent as well. Top speed, it's pretty average uh, for, you know, an all wheel drive sedan in GTA. It's, you know, it's not super high. It's not super low. It's just, you know, middle ground. It's very average. Overall, the Ubermarked Reinhardt costs about $1.6 million. And for that price, I feel like it's truly one of the best cars in Grand Theft Auto Online uh, for the money and in the sedans category. Obviously, there's some cheaper sedans that are going to perform a little bit better than this thing, but they won't give you the customization that the Ubermarked Reinhardt gives you. I think this car looks fantastic. Uh, certainly, certainly one of the better looking uh, newer cars that have been added into Grand Theft Auto Online. So it's all good in my books. I would certainly recommend picking this thing up if you guys are interested. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for the Ubermarked Reinhardt customization and review in Grand Theft Auto Online. Let me know what you thought of my build in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed as well. Dislike if you didn't, of course. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.